The market for service robots is growing, particularly in elder care. Now most of the countries are technological powerhouse in machine vision, machine learning, and artificial intelligence fields. These technologies are required for the creation of functional robotic hardware. In this video, we are going to see some of the applications of female pleasure robots that are leaked in the footage. Are you excited like me? Let's begin by saying hello and welcome to Robots Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insight in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Erica Currently 23, Japan's newest news anchor would make her parents proud if she had any. According to the Wall Street Journal, Erica, a lifelike android designed to look like a 23-year-old woman, may soon become a TV news anchor in Japan. Hiroshi Ishiguro, director of Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory and Erica's creator, said the android will replace a human news anchor on the airwaves very soon. Erica the android might be a good fit for a desk job. She can recite scripted writing and sit in a chair easily, making her about as qualified for television as most humans are. According to Ishiguro, her charisma distinguishes Erica from other artificial intelligence. Erica can converse with humans thanks to speech generation algorithms, facial recognition technology, and infrared sensors that allow her to track faces across a room. According to Ishiguro Laboratories, Erica can move her facial features, neck, shoulders, and waist independently, allowing her to respond to human speech with uncanny autonomy. Erica's creator has described her as so lifelike that she could have a soul. Others might describe her as strange. But Erica will not be the only lifelike robot to captivate a large human audience. Chihira Junko Toshiba created Junko Chihira, a realistic-looking android, to work in a new tourist information center in Japan. According to a press release, the bot can speak Japanese, Chinese, and English and made her debut a few weeks ago in Aqua City, Odaiba, a shopping center on Tokyo's waterfront. Currently, Junko Chihira greets visitors as they enter, but in December, the android will be able to provide tourists with information on local events. Junko Chihira is the successor to Aiko Chihira, a Toshiba android who worked as a receptionist in a department store in Japan in April. Hiroshi Ishiguro, a robotics researcher at Osaka University in Suita, Japan, developed the technology used to create Aiki Chihira. Junko Chihira, like Aiki Chihira, can only respond with scripted preset speech for the time being. However, Junko Chihira will gain speech recognition capabilities by 2017, allowing it to respond to questions from tourists. Actroid Actroid is a type of android developed by Osaka University and manufactured by Kokoro Company Limited. It was first shown at the International Robot Exhibition in Tokyo, Japan in 2003. Since then, several different versions of the product have been produced. In most cases, the robot's appearance is modeled after a typical young Japanese woman. The Actroid Woman is a pioneering example of a real machine similar to imagined machines known as androids or gynoids, which have previously only been used for fictional robots. It can imitate human functions such as blinking, speaking, and breathing. The replie models are interactive robots that recognize and process speech and respond accordingly. Nadine Nadine is a humanoid robot of the next generation and the successor to Ava, a humanoid robot head manufactured by Hanson Robotics in 2008. Ava's software platform was created at the University of Geneva's Mira Lab. Ava's mind exhibits very realistic moods, emotions, and short-term memory. Ava has also appeared in a play at Zurich's Roten Fabric Theatre. Nadine was created in 2013 by Kokoro Japan based on Professor Nadia Manganat Thalman. Nadine has a natural-looking head and a full body. The Nadine software platform, developed at Singapore's Nanyang Technological University's Institute for Media Innovation, can show emotions, speak naturally, understand gestures, and remember and retrieve facts during dialogue sessions. Nadine also responds to arm movements. According to ongoing research, the social robot will have two articulated hands and natural grasping. Nadine is also linked to various databases, including its own, Wikipedia, weather channels, and many others. It can answer questions in several languages autonomously and simulate emotions through gestures and facial expressions, depending on the content of the interaction with the user. Nadine can recognize people she has seen before and engage in natural conversation. Nadine has been programmed with a personality which changes depending on what was said. 
Nadine has a total of 27 degrees of freedom for facial expressions and upper body movements. It recalls facts and events associated with each person it has previously met. HRP-4C HRP-4C, also known as MIM, is a feminine-looking humanoid robot developed by Japan's National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology. MIM stands 158 centimeters tall and weighs 43 kilograms with the battery pack attached. She has a typical young Japanese female's realistic head, face, and body. She can move like a human, thanks to 30 body motors and another 8 for facial expressions. MIM can also recognize ambient sounds and respond to speech using speech recognition software. MIM can also sing thanks to the Vocaloid vocal synthesizer. The robot software is built on the Open Robotics platform, which includes OpenRTM AIST and OpenHRP3. Applications for the HRP4C could include the entertainment industry and a human simulator for device evaluation. HRP4C's speaking and singing abilities were demonstrated at the SIATEC Japan 2009 Festival in June 2009. It speaks using a CB4C prototype Vocaloid voice bank developed by Krypton Future Media. Eriko Nakamuro provided the voice for CB4C, and Krypton's commercial plans for the voice bank were unknown as of December 2012. It was also seen cosplaying as Hatsune Miku and singing with the Miku voice bank. It could move its head and lips in time with the music during this demonstration, but not the rest of its body. It could also use Megpoid, another Vocaloid voice bank. Pepper Pepper is a semi-humanoid robot created by SoftBank Robotics that can read emotions. It was unveiled at a conference on June 5, 2014 and was made available in SoftBank mobile phone stores in Japan the following day. Pepper's emotion recognition ability is based on detecting and analyzing facial expressions and voice tones. However, Pepper production was halted in June 2021 due to low demand. Pepper is not a domestically useful robot. Instead, Pepper is designed to enhance people's lives, facilitate relationships, have fun with people, and connect people to the outside world. The creators of Pepper hope that independent developers will create new content and applications for Pepper. The head of the robot is equipped with four microphones, two HD cameras in the mouth and forehead, and a 3D depth sensor behind the eyes. A gyroscope is located in the torso and touch sensors are in the head and hands. The mobile base includes two sonars, six lasers, three bumper sensors, and a gyroscope. In addition, it can access the existing content in the App Store for SoftBank's Nao robot. Asimo Honda's Asimo, advanced step in innovative mobility, is a humanoid robot that debuted in 2000. It can be seen at the Miracon Museum in Tokyo, Japan. Honda posted the final ASIMO update on their official page on July 8, 2018, stating that they would discontinue all development and production of ASIMO robots to focus on more practical applications utilizing the technology developed during ASIMO's lifespan. The name was inspired by Isaac Asimov. ASIMO was created due to research on the E and P series. In Japan, development began in 1999 at Honda's Waco Fundamental Technical Research Center and ASIMO was unveiled in October 2000. ASI is another word for leg and MO is another word for mobility, so ASIMO is a Japanese word that means also legs. Honda discontinued the commercial development of ASIMO in 2018 but will continue to be developed as a research platform and make public appearances. The Avatar Robot THR3 On Tuesday, Toyota Motor Corps unveiled its third-generation humanoid TH3 robot, a device designed to collaborate with humans who control it remotely and assist them in their daily lives. Toyota stated that it hopes to use the THR3 in various settings in the future, including homes, medical facilities, construction sites, disaster areas, and outer space. Since the 1980s, Toyota has been developing industrial robots. The device, which was designed using the automaker's expertise in automotive technologies, can be used to assist doctors, caregivers, patients, the elderly, and physically challenged people, according to the automaker. The THR3 is controlled by the user via wearable gear. The robot mimics the user's movements as if it were an avatar. Using a head-mounted display, the user can also see from the robot's point of view. The torque servo module technique is used by the THR3 to ensure smooth movement. Let us know your views in the comments below and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.